by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. The first letter of Peter, chapter 3 and verse 19. This passage is frequently cited by most Christians to prove the conscious existence of the dead as disembodied spirits. It is alleged that when Jesus died, he preached to these spirits in prison. However, can the spirit go back to God who gave it in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7 and yet be imprisoned in Hades at the same time? The word spirit never signifies disembodied persons in the scriptures. Even angels who are called spirits, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7, are bodily beings. Lot called them men, Genesis chapter 19 verses 1 and 8 and Jacob wrestled with one of them, Genesis chapter 32 and verse 24. In a similar way, the Apostle John advises believers to try the Spirit. The first letter of John, chapter 4 and verse 1. But the same verse identifies the spirits with false prophets. Spirits in prison is an expression for a person in bondage to sin and death. Prison has this association in the following passages. I, Yahweh, have called thee, that is Christ, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Isaiah chapter 42, verses 6 and 7. The Spirit of the Lord Yahweh is upon me, because Yahweh has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Isaiah 61 and verse 1. The orthodox interpretations of this passage are shown to be false since they both require an opportunity for dead persons to respond to instruction. Scripture is clear. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 27. They that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. Isaiah chapter 38 and verse 18. The dead know not anything. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 5. The dead in the first letter of Peter, chapter 4 and verse 6, were alive when preached to by Noah, but dead at the time of Peter's writing. The passage does not state that Jesus personally preached to the spirits in prison, but rather by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Verse 19, it was the spirit of Christ in Noah which preached to the spirits in prison, live persons in bondage to sin and death, many years before Jesus was born in the days of Herod the king, Matthew chapter 2 and verse 1. By means of the Holy Spirit given to the prophets, see Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 21, they were able to speak as though they were Christ. Consider the following passages. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy only one to see corruption. Psalm 16 and verse 10, quoted in Acts chapter 2 and verse 26 and 27 as a prophecy about the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Behold, I and the children whom Yahweh has given me. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 18. Compare Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 13. A body as thou prepared for me. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 5. Compare Psalm 40 and verse 6. Literally there was no flesh and body of Christ when these words were written. The spirit of Christ in the prophets enabled them to testify beforehand the suffering of Christ and the glory that should follow. The first letter of Peter chapter 1 and verse 11. Noah, a preacher of righteousness, 
second letter of Peter chapter 2 and verse 5 being warned of God of things not seen as yet moved with fear prepared an ark to the saving of his house by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 7 Peter by inspiration draws a figure he says the like figure whereunto even baptism does also now save us the old human race stands as a community of prisoners condemned to death on account of sin even while awaiting the judicial sentence they are all their lifetime subject to bondage Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 15 the way of escape from this prison is by baptism into Jesus Christ the antitypical ark for as many of you have as been baptized into Christ have put on Christ 